Mark, ultimately a disappointing result, disappointing defeat tonight. What's your thoughts on the performance? A yeah, frustrating evening for us tonight. Um, really disappointed because we've had some positive performances in our last two league games. At Obviously Stockport and Bromley haven't got the points to show for it and we were really looking to step on tonight and um, that hasn't happened. Goals change games, we're conceding soft ones at the moment, which is we're really shooting ourselves in the foot. And in a, a high pressure game, a tense game of, against teams around us, that first goal was quite key and, and that seemed to take the, take the wind out of our sails. And um, we've got to be bigger, we've got to be braver and um, unfortunately that frustration and that tension really showed all over the pitch. Two changes made, the two Corys come in, obviously Giles misses out and Mo drops out as well, what was the thinking behind that? Well Giles was in force, it's an injury and unfortunately you know I've got two of my two centre-halves out, you know Kevin Locko we haven't seen yet, um, he's a big character, big experience player and obviously Giles missing as well but you know Corey Jordan's dropped in and I thought we had a, a good performance um, and um, Corey Andrews was um, to freshen it up as well and he obviously missed out for injury so we're keen to get him back on the pitch and um, unfortunately cramped up a little bit at the end um, but you know we we'll have to dust ourselves down now and we we'll have to uh, get people as fit as they can and ready for Saturday. Let's talk back of the game obviously you mentioned the first goals were crucial in this sort of game and we started well but ultimately you know Weymouth have just hit us with a bit of a bit of a sucker punch really in the sense that we've saved the shot but then you know Thompson the number nine's coming is headed headed home from close range. Yeah it's sort of a really soft goal from our point of view and the second one even worse it's unforgivable the second one from our point of view um, and like I said the goals have changed the game for us and, it, and that just added to our frustration and our tension and, and that showed on our performance our quality uh, went and you know, fair play to Weymouth you know they got their noses ahead and they made it a very difficult evening for us but from our, we've got to worry about ourselves, we've got to show more quality, uh, more clarity in what we're doing. Um, sometimes we've got to ignore the outside noise and make sure that we um, create our own noise on the pitch, pos positive, and then people can respond to that. You know, We've got to give people something to respond to here at the moment. Um, it's not through lack of effort, they are working their socks off. GPS is tested every training session, every game. They're, they're working hard, but at the moment we haven't worked as smart as we should have done tonight. Um, and like I said, we've, it's probably out of our willingness or we so want to win, we so want to do these things well that sometimes that has an adverse effect and I think that was the case tonight. Particularly the last two games, do you think that's the most frustrating thing for you is, you know, particularly against Bromley, but you know, even today, you come in with a game plan, look to create and play a certain way and you know, we've been hit by two goals against Bromley and then a goal against Weymouth. Does that change the pattern of play for you? Yeah, look, we have to have a, a range of ways. I felt we were just a little bit sideways today and, you know, that wasn't, you know, we needed to sort of play in behind the lines a little bit quicker. We needed to switch the play a little bit quicker because when we did, we caused, we caused, we caused problems. But again, our, our quality at the end of it was, was sadly missing tonight. And uh, like I said, that just fueled the frustration of the whole place tonight. And uh, that's, look, only us can get ourselves out of this now. We're shooting ourselves in the foot so we can fix it. You know, we're, we're doing this to ourselves. Um, so we need to grow up quickly. We need to learn the lessons. We need to keep working hard on the training pitch, keep believing in ourselves. And we, and we will turn it. We, we certainly will. Look, look we, We've had some good performances, um, there was flashes tonight, but that's all it was and uh, ultimately the frustration of the home form has, has, has come out tonight and um, like I said, we can, we're doing everything we can, we'll continue to do everything we can and, and we will turn it around. You mentioned the frustration there, obviously I mentioned the home form, you know, maybe the fans towards the end, but you know, understandably with the home form it's disappointing for them, but it's important we face up to it, you know, accept this is what we are, this is what we're going to do to improve it. Yeah, there's, no, there's no hiding place, there's no hiding place now, we've got to stand up and be counted. Now I need. Now I'm looking to see the attitude and the character of the players because um, it was tough tonight. It was really tough, and uh, like I said only we can turn it, and we'll only turn that by standing up and being counted now and keep showing that that mentality and attitude that we got. To, you know, we want to improve, but we're going to have to be brave now. We're going to have to be really brave. And that starts on Saturday with you know in front of the cameras on BT Sport against Barnet on Saturday, another big game. Yeah, the, the next game's always the, the 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 biggest, and look, we can you know get a win then um, things look, at, look a lot different quickly. So um, look, full focus on that game now. We'll, look, we'll pick the bones out of this tom um, tomorrow. We'll look back at the game. Um, we'll pick out the bits. We'll, we'll, we'll work on them for the remainder of the week and we'll make sure we put ourselves in the best place for Saturday. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.